and South Africa within the Israeli reality is one charged with a certain amount of apprehension for reasons that are known to you. However, I speak for all those involved in saying that the inspiration coming directly out of the Mandela legacy gave strength of purpose to ensure that this unforgettable event takes place. A huge thanks to our speakers, Ambassador Sisa Mbombeni, a true friend, and as we like to say, a mensch, who shows warmth, generosity, and support, not only in this initiative, but to all South Africans. We're privileged to have you in Israel, and we thank you for being part of this event from the ground up. legend in his own time, worked endlessly finding ways to bypass any obstacle in order to make this event happen. Thank you so much. Your insights are invaluable. <laughs> Mr. Basso made fearless guardian of human rights and pioneer of dialogue and mutual respect between people. Thank you so much. from South Africa, we honor to have you here and value your perceptions, uh, the perceptions that you share with us. Thank you so much. And of course, thanks to Ambassador Toba Herzl for her words and her grace as Master of Ceremonies. And the member of the Will Mittman, who came here on behalf of the Government of Israel and spoke to us. perceptions and guidance throughout. Thanks to Max Moss for his tireless work, leadership and dedication, and to Yair Moss who prepared the film clip. Thanks to Ian Rogo for his support and level-headed wisdom. Thanks to Les Glassman who steadfastly promoted this event. Thanks to Doran Klein and the dedicated staff at Telpet. And a very big thanks to Dave Bloom, the chairman of Telpet, who skipped this ship to a safe port with everything that means and has worked tirelessly to ensure its success and has shown leadership, astute management and decorum throughout. <coughs> Finally, thanks to you members of the audience who at this very tribal time and at quite a lot of risk came to be part of this unique event. In a recent article I wrote in the Times of Israel which looks back at the traumatic events of the last few weeks and urges readers to attend this meeting, I wrote the following. And if you all take home with you a piece of the Mandela legacy, you may find its, nour its nourishment for the soul after this terrible week. I now believe and hope that we're taking not a piece of the legacy, but the vision itself. And if we can take this vision and apply it in our own individual, modest way, I believe we've achieved something here tonight. Thank you very much.